Safara Kadimi DTV Chimbe Chimbe Tete The best ahead of the rest Well, by and large, uh, I want to greet Bungela on 80 members, National Charter. Good evening. Good evening. I take this opportunity to iron out on the two issues which are currently very important to our national progression and achievement of Vision 2030. First and foremost, I will commence by the Adani issue. And I want to congratulate uh, ODM leader, uh, former Premier Raila Morodinga for supporting the infrastructural design which, is, uh, which has been uh, put by the government to ensure that we uplift uh, the nature of uh, JKIA. Because for us to achieve Vision 2030, we must ensure that our air, our rail, our uh, road infrastructure is superb. That is the way to go. On the share, as we are all aware that amongst the Big Four agenda which was started by the Jubilee government, uh, the government of Dr. William Samuel Ruto is very much determined to ensure that each and every Kenyan get uh, health services at uh, a price which each and everyone can afford, irrespective of their uh, level in the Maslow hierarchy of uh, uh, needs in this nation. And that is why, as Bungela Wanainchi, we stand to support the Shah and we ask the ministry to come and also aid us in uh, conducting public participation and civic education over the matter. With those few remarks, may I now uh, welcome my predecessor also to say something. Then the SG as we go ahead like that. Uh, good evening, members of the Fourth Estate and fellow members. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, uh, on this Adan issue, I think as you are all aware, the matter was put to rest yesterday when the right honorable Raila Molo Dinga, the enigma of Kenya politics, put, put the matter to rest when he cleared the air because he, we believe he has more experience and he, he knows the track record of Adani. So I think we have been having a lot of questions concerning Adani, but Baba has said that it is a good deal and he has assured Kenyans that he, it, will, it will expand the infrastructure of our airports. So we, need, we really need to support it. Let us put it to rest so that the government can implement the Adani issue. Onisha, I want to congratulate the government on this share, on this share issue. Although there are some gaps, Kenyans are still asking questions, and I think the the relevant, the substantive CS for health must do a lot of groundwork in educating Kenyans and doing civic education on this share, because there are a lot of gaps. Kenyans are asking questions particularly concerning the transition framework of SHA. Because right now, as we speak, very many Kenyans are going to hospitals and they are told to, to pay cash. And many Kenyans cannot afford those services, particularly oncology services uh, like radiotherapy and uh, chemotherapy and uh, dialysis services. Kenyans cannot afford to pay cash and very many Kenyans are succumbing to, to, to diseases right now. So the CS, uh, Dr. Deborah Mulongo need, needs to come out very clearly and come up with a, a transition framework to cushion Kenyans, to protect Kenyans who have been relying <coughs> on services using their NHF cards. So, and I want to say also that uh, on Sha, the ministry needs to take civic education to the grassroots. The ministry needs to use organizations like Bungala Manaichi to conduct grassroots civic education so that many Kenyans can understand what Sha is all about. Many Kenyans are just seeing this thing on, on media 
they do not understand it. So, in a brief, I want to congratulate Baba for what he said yesterday, and uh, I wish him well. <coughs> and I'm praying that now he can go and capture the AUC seat. Thank you. Thank you very much. Na mimi ningependa kuweka wazi. E, baba Raila Molo Dinga akisema kitu, basi ameshasema. Mimi kama Isa nitaongezea nini? Maana baba akisema kitu, amesema. Na baba ni mtu ambao tunajua ako na record. Hata mambo ya e, Atur Sagrasian wakati walikuja hapa Kenya, si baba ndiye aliamka akasema hii watu ni wabaya wakaenda. Lakini kama baba ameona Adani akasema mtu ni mungwana ameleta maendeleo hapa Kenya sisi tupinge ni kwa nini tunaona upande wa energy ameleta billion mia moja plus na unajua kitu kinaitwa billion ikifanya mradi pahali italeta impact gani kitu ya maana kwa sisi wa Kenya ni watu wapate employment tupate nini living standard iko improved ndio kitu ya maana ambao sisi kama wa Kenya tunahitajia. Hii mambo mengine at investor ni nani? Mara ni Muhindi, mara ni Muzungu, mara ni Mwarabu, mara ni Mwafrika. It is none of our business. Sisi kazi yetu kubwa ni kuona kwamba nini mradi umekuchwa hapa Kenya, investor amekamo pesa yake na ameenda na ile kitu inaitwa nini public private partnership hiyo tu ndio kitu ya maana na baba amesisitiza kwamba e, PPP e, public private e, partnership lazima tuangalie tuweke kwa framework ili isumize mwananchi wa kawaida so that mwananchi wa kawaida aweze kufaidika hiyo ndio kitu ya maana yenye Raila Molo Dinga baba amesema so kwa hivyo sisi kama wa Kenya lazima tukubaliane na venye baba amesema hii kitu tumeipiga kelele adani 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 ni adani baba akakaa chini na vile baba amekaa chini ni kama venye baba akileta samaki kwa boma ikapikwa sasa watoto za zile mnangangana kukula samaki mnaona mifupa ni mingi ndani baba amekaa chini akatoa mifupa zote polepole pole kwa hiyo samaki na sasa watoto tumekula hiyo samaki iko sawa kabisa therefore as i conclude Raila Molo Dinga akisema kitu anajua maana yeye ni mtu amengangana na inchi miaka zote kwa hivyo anajua kibaya na kizuri. Wakati wa Staturu Saragasiani walikuja hapa Kenya, salituambia ni mbaya na akafukuzwa. Kwa hivyo kama amesema Adani yako sawa, sisi lazima tukubaliane na yeye na tutaona impact upande wa energy, upande wa airport na mambo mengine mambo bado. Kitu ya maana wa Kenya tupate kazi na wa Kenya tu improve maisha yetu. Isaac Otieno, the Secretary General of Bunge la Mwananchi. Eh, nimesikia baba kiongea jana. Na eh, fellow members na eh, my seniors hapa pia wameongea wakisupport maneno baba me, ameongea jana. Eh, kitu baba ameongea jana. Lakini mimi niko na swali kidogo kuhusiana na maneno ya Raila Molo Dinga na Adani. Before Adani akuje. Wakati wa Raila Molo Dinga na Mwai Kibaki. Kunayo sheria ambayo waliweka, walitunga na wakaiweka mtu yote ambaye anapanda ndege alikuwa na katwa 2%. Na hiyo 2% ilikuwa inaenda kwa benki ili bara ili airport ijengwe upya kitu ambayo nilikuwa naangojea baba ongee jana ni kuhusu hizo pesa ambaye walianza kuchanga ama kuchukua kwa, kwa passengers since that time until to date hizo pesa ziko wapi na hizo pesa ni kiasi gani na kama hizo pesa kama ni bilioni ngapi ni ngapi ambayo inafaa iongezwe ndio airport mpya ijengwe hizo ndio vitu ambayo mimi kama secretary general wa bunge la mwananchi nilikuwa na ngoja Raila Molo Dinga aongelele lakini yeye alichukua saidi ya kuongelelea adani ni mtu mzuri adani amefanya adani amefanya na zote zimekuwa E, ma, ma airport zimejengwa nini nini 
lakini sisi kama wa Kenya mimi nataka kuimiza wananchi tusiwe ma psychophants za awa wakubwa wetu tunakulwa na pesa zetu zinakulwa na mimi kama kiongozi mdogo najiuliza swali hivi je mtoto wangu ambaye ameanza shule vizia atakuwa na deni kiasi gani ili alipe hizi deni za kinadani deni sijui za kinashaa what hizi pesa ambazo zinachukuliwa upande wa energy zote kama mimi mwenyewe ndio bado nalipa deni ya, ya Kenyatta je hizi za kina Raila Ruto wajuku wetu watalipa lini so inafaa sisi kama wananchi tusimame kidete na tuulize maswali kadhaa tusiwe ma psychophants yes. wa our leaders baba Raila Moludinga na muheshimu zaidi na zile vitu zote amefanya kwa inchi tunaheshimu nikimalizia na malizia hivi baba amefanya kazi yake mzuri na tunashukuru baba tunakuitaji tunakuitakia mazuri uende EU ushinde lakini siasa ya Kenya tunataka accountability kwa pesa zote ambayo muliweka mwanzo mkiwa na kibaki uhuru akaingia almost 20 something years hiyo hiyo hata kama ni ndege airport hiyo pesa ambayo watu wamechanga inatosha kujenga airport because nakumbuka vizuri uhuru Kenyatta akianza kujenga lakini ikasimamishwa kwa koti so Ruto atuambie hizo pesa ziko wapi before Adani akuje. Mimi bado napinga Adani hadi hizo pesa ambazo zilikuwa zinakatwa. Hizo 2% tuambiwe zimeenda wapi? Asante.